And this is like how the liberal mind works. Liberals operate in, in this sort of way that Lona Box operated in that debate. He's like, I support the right of return. I support Palestinian decolonization. Yeah, Palestine is a settler colonial state. And then when it comes down to it, is he going to actually meaningfully advocate for anything regarding those positions? No. What he's going to do is try to advocate against the right of return, but it's not on moral grounds, so it's different, right? The right of return is impossible. It can never happen because two million Jews, as he said, from Manhattan, couldn't come to Israel literally tomorrow. Like, if you teleported them in, there would be chaos. The funny thing about that, for one, is that if two million Jews from Manhattan, which is infinitely denser than Israel, by the way, apply to the Israeli government to be able to move to Israel tomorrow, even if they've never been there, that would be welcomed in with open arms. They have the right of return to a place they've never been to. So that talking point is absolutely fucking insane. But regardless, this is the way they operate, right? They claim to hold a leftist position, and then they say it's impossible Communism to achieve. Is based. And that working towards it is not worth doing. So the only position, the only position to take, according to them, is the right-wing position that negates even trying to work towards the right of return or the return of stolen homes or anything like that. So functionally, he's someone who will say, yeah, it will be nice if we could do that, but we can't. So the Palestinians can't return. The Israeli conqueror colonists get to keep the land they stole now. doesn't matter if you have the, literally the key to your fucking house, you can't take it anymore. Aside from how incredibly paternalistic this is, because Palestinians obviously don't believe that, Palestinians would fucking lynch this guy for daring to say that shit to them as if he represents them. It's a strategy of presenting yourself as in far more radical than you are. He's morally a leftist, but functionally a right winger. And a leftist is not someone who is only morally a leftist. A leftist is someone who is functionally a left, who advocates for working towards goals, who advocates for forming political projects that can achieve actual leftist outcomes, rather than just saying that leftist outcomes are impossible. You need to look out for this. This is a very, very, a very, very normal liberal thing. There's, there's another example through him was his claim that it's impossible to pressure Israel because it's never been done before or something like that, because it has nuclear weapons and a strong military. South Africa had nuclear weapons and a strong military. I mentioned that to him, and he immediately like just gave up and started saying, but South Africa didn't literally change its name. Like, oh my god. The liberal is devoid of history. The liberal does not know that history exists until it's time for him to whitewash a historical figure into being a liberal who was actually a socialist. For the liberal, he can like straight face state something like, it's impossible to force Israel to cede to Palestinian demands. Nothing like that has ever happened before. When yes, there is literally multiple examples of that happening before. And the liberal also knows this too. Because if you asked him, are you in favor of devastating sanctions on Russia? He would say yes. Now, Israel is infinitely more vulnerable to sanctions than Russia is. You sanction Israel? Holy shit, man, the population capitulates in a fucking week. Israel is just a generic westernized consumer population. They can't get their treats. They're protesting. They'll tell the government to do fucking anything to give in to the demands of the international community. You literally do to, Rush, to, do to Israel what's being done to Russia right now. It's over. Palestinians get what they want. It's really that simple. Like, the liberal is incapable of really engaging with the, the examples, the practical realities. You know, even the present day examples of these same sorts of things currently being done. So he just like states the position in a mocking way. Vorsch also did this in the past, and he still does. Vorsch was like, we should cast a reluctant vote for Joe Biden and bully him left. Then, once Joe Biden became president, Vorsch did not bully Joe Biden left. In fact, Vorsch started um, critiquing anyone who attacks Joe Biden from the left. He started defending Joe Biden. There was no, there was no bullying to be had there. Because the way that these... Um, Liberals who present themselves as leftist work is they pay lip service to leftist positions, but they don't actually advocate for them in practice. They don't want to work towards being able to achieve leftist goals. They don't want to build a leftist political project. Like leftist ideas are nice and they would be nice, but they're impossible. And when that's your position, you are functionally a right winger. Okay? Because your political goals, the things that you believe are possible, 
the things that you believe we should work towards are the exact same as a right-wing to a red Tory of like the UK Labour Party, like a, a centrist Democrat in the US. You're no different to them. Paying lip service to things, but not trying to work towards them in any meaningful capacity. And in fact, attacking anyone who thinks that you should do that makes you a liberal. What's most important with your politics is not the lip service that you pay towards pie in, what, you, what you try to frame as pie in the sky ideas that are supposedly impossible. It's what the action that you prescribe would actually result in. So these people are just liberals. That's how you spot a liberal with these sorts of talking points. A liberal doesn't want to and honestly can't even conceive of building a political project working towards a longer term and far better goal for far more benefit. All they can, they can really process is, well, we can't simply pass a law through one country's Congress and fix this incredibly complicated issue literally immediately so the only possible way, the only possible thing that we can do is to completely give in to the demands of the oppressor. A better world is impossible. That is liberalism.